The kinesiology department here at San Francisco State is very well known for a number of areas in research. It's a very broad field, it's a very eclectic field. When my professor told me that there was an opportunity to do something with virtual reality, I was like, okay, let's kind of try it and figure it out. Media in this gaming industry is constantly evolving. It's constantly trying to make it more accessible for the general public to be able to play it and use it. So I went in, saw how this gaming system was working, and I thought this was a great opportunity to use this as my thesis and a template to kind of continue going on and using this for other people. Whenever you're starting a project where nobody's really done it before, you want people who are, are smart and know their field, but you also want people who are creative thinkers and can, can see the world that isn't quite there yet. And, um, and so uh, Dr. Kern and, and the department here was, was recommended. And so that's why I reached out and, and, they, and the response was positive. And so that's how it started. So it highlights the university and its involvement in the community as well as in the private sector and I think really showcases the fact that we are in an urban environment. When I bought my the first VR system, uh, I, I realized that I played over 120 hours in this one particular game, which forces you to jump back and forth and do a whole lot of kind of aerobic exercise. And so like, you know, this is actual exercise. It is by far the best exercise equipment I've ever owned. Watching people use the equipment that we have in the lab now and collecting actual hard data on how much actual oxygen consumption they have, which is how we use to measure what your metabolic rate is while you're exercising. And we did that while individuals were playing games. Um, we found the games, depending upon which game it was you were actually looking at, uh, to be anywhere from mild exercise to strenuous exercise. One of the issues that video games uh, as a form of exercise and virtual reality is, is facing is that for years we've thought of gaming as kind of the opposite of being healthy. Um, it's one of the things that you do if you want to sit on the couch and kind of not be out and be physical. And uh, so we have to educate gamers that there is actually this form of gaming that really and truly is actual exercise. We uh, have established the Virtual Reality Health and Wellness Institute. It will have rankings of all the games, and it will have ideas of how much exercise you can get from playing this game, uh, available for parents to see, for gamers to see, and say, okay, well, that, that looks cool. I kind of like that idea. I'll give it a try. This could be the beginning point for individuals to kind of start referencing and using this. So the next step is hopefully within the next month to kind of send in a manuscript and get this published soon.